Beverly Bain was an American actress who appeared in silent films beginning in 1910 in Chicago, Illinois, where she worked for SNA Studios. Early life born in Minneapolis, Minnesota, she moved to Chicago when she was six. She stayed there for a time, and in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, before she settled in Chicago. She was 16 when by curiosity she happened by the SNA Studios. She was told she had a camera face. She began working there at a salary of $35 per week. It was soon increased to $75 a week. In a few years the actress was earning $350 weekly. Film career Her first films were The Rivals and The Lone Shark, both in 1912. She played the feminine lead in the latter. Under contract to SNA at this time was Gloria Swanson. It is said that Swanson wept because her eyes were blue and not brown as were Bane's. Brown eyes were considered preferable for photography then. Other actors on the lot were Wallace Beery, Charlie Chaplin, and Francis X. Bushman. Bushman demanded Beverly as his female lead, and soon they were a romantic duo, appearing in 24 films. Their first film together was Pennington's Choice. In 1916 the couple made Romeo and Juliet, which generated a sizable profit. Bushman and Bain were married in 1918, only three days after Bushman divorced his wife. Bain and Bushman left SNA and made films for Metro Pictures from 1916 to 1918 and are credited as the first romantic team in film. In 1919-1920 the couple starred in a play, The Master Thief, based on a story by Richard Washburnchild, which did well. Later they appeared in vaudeville and as guest stars in dramatic stock. Eventually the two drifted apart. Bain and Bushman divorced in 1925, and her career went into decline after that. Soon both she and Bushman were out of motion pictures. On reflecting, Bushman believed their demise in films was caused by a new valet who inadvertently snubbed Louis B. Mayer. The movie mogul had called on him during a personal appearance tour. Others contend that the Hollywood establishment disapproved of Bushman divorcing his wife and marrying the much younger Bain. Bain later married Charles T. H. Vass, and they lived on a farm in Piscataway, New Jersey. Her final silent film was Passionate Youth in 1925. Unable to make a comeback, she worked on stage productions and on Broadway throughout the 1930s and 1940s. During the early 1940s, Miss Bain performed in radio and did an occasional play. During World War II her serious work involved British war relief. Her only sound film was The Naked City with Barry Fitzgerald and Howard Duff, although her name does not appear in the credits. It was her last film. In 1960, Bain received a motion picture star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1752 Vine Street. Later years she retired from performing completely in 1950 and settled in Scottsdale, Arizona, where she died from a heart attack in 1982 at the age of 87. She was buried in Scottsdale's Paradise Memorial Gardens.